Hiya, I'm Mike and uh, welcome to another Knowledge Hub. Today I just wanted to talk about a common uh, fault that people get well, once getting a service done. There's quite a few boilers out there get installed without any sort of flue guard on there. Now, a flue guard must be fitted where a flue sits less than 2.1 metres from the ground. Now, yes, it's to protect yourself, but really it's to protect the flue itself. A modern flue works where it takes the air for combustion inside the boiler through the outer, side, outer part of the flue. The inner part of the flue gets rid of your POCs or your products of combustion. And it's essential that the two don't mix. Now if that flue was to get knocked or damaged or something happened to the end of it, if you've got a crack on the, in, on the inner flue, instead of drawing fresh air constantly into the boiler, it would start drawing some of those POCs back inside of there and potentially cause poor combustion and carbon monoxide. Right, to protect flues, we have a flue guard. Now, these look very similar. Uh, there's another one here. Whoop! They look both very, very similar to each other, but when you're picking a flue guard, again, you don't have to be a gas safe registered engineer to fit a flue guard but you do really need to know what you're selecting. Now, what we're looking for is, in the easiest way to do it, if you've got a plastic flue there on the outside, there's a good chance, wait, this is gonna be a condensing appliance. Now, if you've got a condensing appliance at home, you'll notice on a night or when your boiler kicks in, it comes out in what we call a plume. So you get a lot of steam coming out the side of that flue. And you'll see this guard here is got a plastic coating on it. Now that plastic coating is designed to stop any rusting of the end of the flue and so it doesn't burn straight through. It'll run down there and it can drip off but it would cause no issues whatsoever. Now if you see it fits over there, lovely. And what we're looking for is a guard that is 50 mil aspects from any point of the flue. So if I put a tape measure through there, there would be, it would be no closer than 50 mil all the way around. This one, although unsuitable for this particular boiler, uh, is the, it's just the metal one. Now, if you've got a metal flue, you're not going to have those issues with the cooler. It's not a condensing appliance. So you're not going to have those issues with the cooler flue gases and the pluming. So you're looking for a metal flue guard. The same rules apply. As it sits over there, we should have 50 mil aspects uh, from all areas of that flue. Rule of thumb is, if we've got a plastic flue on the outside, we need the plastic coated flue guard. If we've got a metal flue on the outside, we need the metal flue guard. I'm Mike from USG. Thanks very much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.